acquired a new bulb tonight, actually. It was probably about 10 p.m. I got this bulb. It was interesting. They have this gas station in our town, which is, uh, it's been purchased out. They're going to do a community revitalization program, take that out, put in, like, a park with fountains and trees and things, all walking paths. And they're getting rid of this gas station. The uh, station had two what I believe to be 1950s mercury vapor spotlights. They had a, I don't know, I examined the fixture, I'm going to tell you later on. It had a, I didn't see any markings of brands. Uh, it had a ballast on the top, a screw attachment that went onto a metal post, and a large, uh, probably aluminum refractor with a, a, um, circular uh, glass shield. The glass shield is probably about maybe one and a half feet across. It was made of tempered glass. Um, th they had two. One was on the edge of the parking lot and the other one was on the corner. They, I recently saw they took the one down on the corner and the other day I actually saw it laying on the ground in the back of the gas station so I got really excited. Like, I want to go see if uh, anyone's going to let me have that fixture. Uh, I couldn't find anyone to tell me whether I could have it or not, so I ended up leaving it. Um, it was really sad. I actually went and examined it tonight. It looks like they picked it up with like a, like a front-end loader or something with a grapple, tore it out of the ground. I had the cement thing still on the bottom. It's still on the post. They picked it up moved it to the back and then just dropped it. And the uh, refractor, the glass lens blew out. It was tempered glass, little squares everywhere. It's a, it's a shame. It was a really cool old fixture. And I was like, ah, oh, let me see if I can unscrew it. I couldn't get the, uh, it's rusted onto the pole. So I'd need to, you'd probably need a plasma cutter or a, uh, some kind of a heavy duty piece of equipment to cut it off of that pole. The entire thing, it's the pole's probably about maybe 25 feet long. Like parking lot, street light size pole. And I mean, it weighs at least 300 pounds because me and a friend that were there tried to move it and it was way heavy. So I don't think that fixture's going anywhere anytime soon. If they just, uh, Detach it from the pole, maybe I'll see if I can go get it, but very highly unlikely. We did, however, steal the bulb out of it, though. It is a very old ED shape, General Electric. It's going to be very hard to see the, the etch on there. Read you what it says. It's got the old... Probably can't see this very well. There we go. It's got the old General Electric meatball with the General Electric uh, phrases on each side. It says 400 and then it has a 6 with a small underscore uh, symbol under it. That says Mercury and it has a code H400DX which color corrected 33 slash 1 and it says USA. It's got a very large arc tube. Probably can't see that. Fairly good condition too. I do not have a fixture that has a 400 watt ballast though, so I'm uh, gonna have to wait until I find one. I'll probably get a street light. I see them on Craigslist a lot because they have a utilities place that's getting rid of a lot of stuff and they're usually about 150 bucks. You can go pick up a street light mercury vapor. I've wanted to, I just don't have the space for one. And check Fazio's a lot, they always have these. But that is very cool.
the small scratched number and uh, month things weren't etched, so don't know what year was put in the service. Slightly darkened shows it was used. Where did I put that? I'll give you a comparison to the 175 watt. It's a little larger. 